Welcome back everyone to episode 16 of Let's Play 100% Fallout 4. Now, last episode we helped hey, the Cabots... hold up there. Oh. <laughs> First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Hmm. Trying to threaten us, huh? You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Well, well hey, alright. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Yeah, that sounds Someone good. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You saw it, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Oh my god. <coughs> Why'd you have to go? say that huh breaking my heart over here now i know you had old finn handled back there but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes you all right i'm fine thanks for taking care of him good now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community good neighbors of the people for the people you feel me everyone's welcome mm, let's go ahead and say i feel you yeah I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Oh, you in charge, my friend. <laughs> uh, and let's go ahead and rob this guy. Because, you know, we're savages. Anyways, um, the point is, is that, as we can see from our lovely welcome here, we are in good neighbor now because we are looking for Cabot's sister. So, Smell that. let's go ahead that and get that started. We have our little quest marker over here. Um, oh, oh, here we go. The third rail. See what trouble she's been getting into. Probably nothing good of any sorts. I actually really don't remember um, this quest line, so... Hopefully it's not too complicated, um, but I mean, regardless, we have to get through pretty much everything we can get through, so we don't have a lot of options. Alright, what's up, friend? Hancock says newcomers are welcome to the third rail. <laughs> it doesn't seem like uh, our friends here really want newcomers, but we're here nonetheless. Alright, uh, it doesn't look like we have any open... What? Another one of you oh mercs goodness. looking for McCready? He's in the back room. God, I Where love you? the song. Excuse me. Hell of a load you're carrying. Okay. Better sell some to Daisy before oh, boy. like shit. We got beer. You ain't buying beer. You ain't buying. Oh, okay. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Ain't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. If you like to make friends with people, she might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! Gal, what's a word? Oh, wow, that seems incredibly rude. You just interrupted her in the middle of a song. Excuse me, miss. Hmm? Well, what's the matter, sweetheart? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. Uh, uh, I just wanted to talk to you. Hmm. Well, I thought that's what we were doing. Now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, that's it. You have that, um, I'm the smartest one here and I know it posture. There's something so irresistible about intelligence, don't you think? So what brings a woman like you to my part of town? Ooh, okay. Um, let's see. <laughs> Well, none of these are really wise, so let's just go with what do you think. What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, aren't we? I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? All right. Oh, my goodness. Wow, another flirting option. That's surprising. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Emma Jean? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? Um, she's missing. She's missing, and her family's worried about her. <laughs> I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seems like a body that could use looking after. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> All right. Um. Do you know where she's gone? There was this preacher fella who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day. But Emma Jean, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? There a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this lady here was just looking for Emma Jean. Do you happen to know where that uh, preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yeah, that's right. The one Emma Jean was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Emma Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fella. Yeah, me too. All right, so let's see here. We can find that note. I believe it'd probably be under what? Miscellaneous? Um, colors of the... Is this what we wanted? Do you feel your life isn't what you wanted? Are you looking for a change? Come here, Brother Thomas explain the truth behind our troubled world at the Charles View Amphitheater in the Back Bay. Revival meetings every night, all those seeking to change their lives for the better are welcome. Alright. So, what is our uh, quest? Oh, oh. What is our quest marker saying? Or actually, let's go to data. Imogene takes a lover. Find Imogene Cabot. Okay, so we're still just supposed to find her. Oh, and look, we have a level up. Alright, oh, what do we want to do? Um, we can't do that. We can't do that. <laughs> Pickpocketing. Well, we can do sneak. Let's go ahead and do that. So now we'll be a little more sneakier. What, you need something to take the edge off? Fred Allen, Hotel Rexford. He'll hook you up. Downstairs. Wow, everybody has uh everybody has somewhere to get hooked up in this area. I it seems. So so I think we're going to have to go to the bay and try and find Emma Jean there. Um knowing our luck I mean, really, it should be a peaceful hey, everyone, mission, right? Gather around. Let's kick the breeze back. Shoot the fat. Now I know you all are doing your own oh, thing, God. but I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy, glad you can make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on David Dabrowski the other day? Huh? He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together, and the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their sins! That's right. Who said that? Come on up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. <laughs> so the mayor's enemy. passing out jet. Not the Ravens. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do family starts pushing you away for no reason we all know who's behind that kind of shit and the only way to stop it is to stick together they can't control us if we're not afraid now who's scared of the institute no. us. and which town in the commonwealth should the institute not fuck with the neighbor. Neighbor. and 
who's in charge of Good Neighbor? Hey. Oh, the people. The people. Oh, the people. Wow, he is quite inspirational. But his little message does remind me that after we wrap up this Cabot business, we want to go ahead and um, get back to our main mission of finding our son. Um, so after we are done finding her and done with the Cabot quest, I can't recall, um, I know I've said this probably five times, but I don't quite remember the whole Cabot quest line. Um, I think after we find her, that's the end of it. At least I hope it is, because I think we'll just plan on... We're level 12 now, so we should get ahead. Um, not that that's very high, but we can go ahead, I think, and uh, get started on trying to find uh, Sean and reuniting with our son and just working with Valentine to, uh, to get that bit done. But anyways, let's first find Emma Jean. Um, alright, let's see how far away our marker is here. Oh, she's not that far. So we might as well go and walk there. Did we already clear this guy out? No, we didn't. Look at that. Hopefully we can get through, uh... Uh-oh. I was just getting ready to say, hopefully we can get through here. Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh my god! Literally the exact opposite of what I was trying to say before I totally got distracted and didn't say anything. Oh my god, was that a Yowie Gowie? I don't feel like Yowie Gowie should be allowed in this city. Just a fair warning. Or, not a fair warning, but a heads up. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. No way right now. Oh my god. Please tell me we lost him. Please tell me we lost him. I don't see him, but I mean, y'all saw that, right? He was definitely chasing after us there for a hot minute. Okay, okay. Oh, and it's telling us caution too. But I also just noticed that our life is like... Not doing so hot. Wait a minute. No, I want to go to inventory. Aid. Let's go ahead. Um. Oh my god. We need to get our health up, so let's go ahead and eat some food here. <sighs> where, where are we at? What is our health at? Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, so the amp- Oh, here's the amphitheater. Mm, let's go ahead and save real quick. Just in case. Because we definitely don't want any funny business going on around here. Welcome, neighbor. Who are you? Okay, excuse We're me. We're always glad to see a new Welcome face here. around here. Tell me something. Do you ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I mean... I don't think he's that handsome, but okay. I'm just looking for Emma Jean Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. I just need to make sure she's okay. You've got my word. She's fine. She's just staying in her room right now. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. Oh, really? Hmm. I'm going to see her, one way or another. Your choice. Whoa. You really want to head down this route? You picked the wrong guy to mess with, pal. Oh, God. Oh, my God. All right. Uh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I wish we were a little better at, um... What do we want to use? God. Oh god. Wow, it'd help if we could shoot. Oh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. We are gonna- Oh god. We're gonna totally die. Well, if we die, though, 
I mean, at least we get like a second chance at not totally blowing this. <laughs> Although I really don't want to pay 500 caps. Like, holy crud, that's a lot. All right, also, actually, now that we have all these people on us, hopefully this is loaded. Whoa, come on. I swear, sometimes the keys just... I mean, I know it's technically me, but I really want to blame it on the keys that, like, it doesn't... Um... Like, it doesn't... You know. Yeah, she's dead. It's your fault. Oh my gosh! What? What just happened? Look at my leg! They blew off my leg! Were there people behind me? How did people get behind me? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, well, I guess we should try a different route. Is there anything that makes us more persuasive that we can take? <laughs> Aid-wise? I don't think there is. Buff out? Um, no. I think the only thing you can take are mentats. Charisma? Beer gives you extra char charisma. Oh, I wonder, do we have any whiskey? Does that increase your charisma? Hmm. I still don't know what a stem pet or a stealth boy does. Wine. No, it increases our strength. Whiskey. No, but a beer does improve our um, charisma. So, hold on. We'll get right up to him before we do this. Alright, hold on. There we go. Wait a minute. Why was a... Oh, a bottle cap because we drank a beer. Hi. <laughs> Never realized that before. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like... Yep. We're going to just kind of skip I'm through just this a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry, but... Em All right. Her family's, family's worried. You can tell them that she's... Not that it's any of your business, but yes. she's not seeing anybody. In okay, alright. Um, alright, let's just go this way first. You're not holding her prisoner, are you? No, she's not a prisoner. She was she's just locked crazy, in. threatening to run off. No offense, uh, but you know how women can get sometimes. Oh, yeah, you're totally right, man. Alright, um... I mean, I feel like this means we have a better chance, but I don't want to lose 500 caps. But I don't know if I can fight all these guys, so... Maybe 500 caps will help make her available. 500 caps? Huh. I'm in the wrong business. Yeah, I know, What kind Piper. of person do you think I am? I'm not going to take money to let you see my woman. Oh. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Please. Have a heart. I said she wasn't seeing anybody, including you. Alright, well. Can we can we just like not No, we have to answer. Okay. I'm going to see her. One way or another. Your choice. Whoa. Yeah. You really yeah, wanna yeah. head down mm -hmm. this route? You picked the wrong guy to mess with, pal. Okay, okay. Oh god. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, so we wanna are there people not following us? Like, look how many people there are. Oh my goodness. Okay, so first of all, wait a minute. First of all, let's get out of food. Second of all, let's... Uh, yeah, let's do that. And then... I think we're about to have some people start. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, these people are like crazy. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Uh, let's go ahead. I think we want a stim pack because we hurt our head. Let's go to weapons. Short double barrel shotgun. Ooh, good. Aw, oh, shit. Oh, shoot. These guys are really dangerous with their- Oh, you know what? I think that's how we died. Because the freaking super mutants are right there. Alright. Oh, look how many there are of them. There are so many. Okay, hold on. Aid. Um, let's do some purified water. Go back over here. Do we still want to keep our shotgun? 
Oh my god, see how many there are of them? <laughs> oh gosh! What the fudge, Aroni? This is- we are so going to die. Uh, oh my god. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this is just- oh, heck is going loose. Where's my- where's my- uh, actually, let's do stim packs, because I think we extra hurt ourselves with our own Molotov. But you know what? It's worth it, honestly, because... Ooh, no, I didn't mean to hit that. No, no! No. Oh, gosh. Can we just, like... Piper, how are you already, like... Messed up, Chica? Wow, look at these guys. They're hollow. I mean, I'm definitely playing this game the right way. Can't you guys tell? Instead of actually just like um, fighting, I'm over here looting. Ooh, sunglasses. Kind of like their hats and stuff. They got a lot of uh, bottles. Why the heck do they got bottles? They've been kidnapping children. I like how nobody can. Where is she? Okay, this isn't the main area. So we have to go outside. Why do they have so much clothes around here, too? Where did they all go? <gasps> I don't know where everybody is, but this is whack. Okay, here we go. Is this where we're supposed to go? I wonder if they got, like, distracted by, like, the Meyer lyrics and stuff like that, you know? Gold flip lighter. Better days, okay. Uh, of course. You know what, I bet he has a key though. But I have no idea where his body is. So we'll just have to be an expert block picker and pick it. That. Uh -huh. You must be Emma Jean. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. Um, yeah, literally, how old is she? You're Jack's sister? <clears throat> I was expecting someone a bit younger. How rude. Don't you know to never mention a lady's age? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the uh -oh. <laughs> Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? Just like that. God, so rude, interrupting us. Hey, talk to me. Got him. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> you're not going to talk to us now? I guess we have to finish killing people. Where are they, Piper? I guess they're up there. Um, oh, I see him. Brother Thomas. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here you go. <laughs> Screw you, Brother Thomas. You weren't handsome like I said anyways black baseball bat that's pretty cool so I'm gonna go ahead and take that short automatic uh no okay well let's see if we can get her to finish talking to us all right Emma Jean it wasn't Jack it was your mother who wanted you found I'm fine as you can see I was just waiting to see if Thomas would come to his senses but since you've already gone to all this trouble, I may as well leave now. I was bored with Thomas anyway. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we got here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. I mean... <laughs> Your boyfriend's dead. Let's go. Thomas? He wasn't my boyfriend. We had some fun together, that's all. Besides... <laughs> He shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. 
I just need a drink first. Okay. Well, have fun. I'm just gonna finish raiding this plate. Ooh, look, more charisma juice. Um, a bed, and yeah. Okay, well, I guess that's about it. Let's check these. Alright, just some pre-war money. Alright, um, I don't know if I want to go see if I can find some bodies so we can steal their loot. Or if I'm too big of a coward because some of them might still be alive and come after us. Short pipe rifle. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm pretty sure the Mylurks had to kill most of these because I don't even think I did. And actually, speaking of Mylurks, we should probably go ahead and... Oh, uh, I'm just kidding. That one's definitely mine. Considering they're burnt to a crisp. Switchblade. And, okay. So, not much. Disappointing. Alright. Did we check this guy? Yeah, we did. Alright, so we found Emma Jean. She's a doll. And the serum is reversing the effects of aging. What? Okay, so let's just head back to the Cabot house. Which, I mean... So that answers the question then of if the lady in the portrait was actually um, the mother. And apparently it was, or it is the mother, because obviously there's no way that's a quink -a dink when he's created a serum to keep them living so long. So that's pretty crazy. But I mean, I don't even, does that mean they were alive before the war? And they just managed to, like, stay safe and then they've been using this serum to stay alive all this time. Like, that is pretty insane. Pretty cool. But pretty insane as well. Like, can you even imagine? I honestly don't know if people would really want to live that long. Like, if you actually could live 200 some years. I don't know. It seems unlikely. But maybe. I guess we'd have to find out to actually know. But... I just don't know if humanity could handle <laughs> living for 200 plus years and like being content. Because I just feel like now people, like older people, when they get to a certain extent are kind of um, done. But I mean, I guess to be fair, that's usually because they've aged and therefore life isn't quite what it was when, you know, you're younger and you can do more or you're busy with having kids or taking care of kids. Hi. Not now. <laughs> oh my god, it's happening. over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? Jean now. How's this? <laughs> oh, that's stunning. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders this Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. I have a bad feeling our quest line is not over with the Cabots. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. I don't need anything right now, thank you. What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's- I found Amagene. She's fine. Oh, yes, good. Thank you. At least one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here, I hope that's the right amount. Now, we really need to focus on the current emergency. How can you be so uh, confident about what? your sister's safety? I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. A 
some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. What exactly does this serum do? There's no time for that right now. Mm -hmm. I'll explain on the way. Mm -hmm. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Oh. Okay. Okay. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. Oh. <laughs> and try not to hurt him. I love father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, mother. So... And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. So that must be Lorenzo, a.k.a. father, a.k.a. we locked him up for some reason? Hmm. Not very nice, you two. Not very nice. And it makes me extra... Okay, can we can we go outside? Thank you. Oh no, we're trapped inside. Oh my god! Okay, there we go. Um, it makes me a little concerned that he goes ahead and tells us to prepare for a serious battle. Because that just can't mean anything good. Um, <laughs> just uh, not gonna look forward to that very much at all. Because uh, we have been barely staying alive as it is, let alone if the stuff is gonna hit the fan. That's all I can say. So, I don't know how we're going to survive this uh, next round, but I guess it'll be a good test to see if we're ready for the main quest line. Um, I mean, I, I do think the main quest line, we don't have anything, like, too, too serious coming up. But I know that there are usually, there's, like, some, some kind of fight with, like, the guy who killed our husband, I believe. That is extremely ready? challenging. So, you should know what we're going to be dealing with. My father is confined to Parsons. For his own sake and everyone else's, he became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he found in Arabia. I spent my life trying to figure out how to cure him. Great. So he's extremely dangerous. And you want me to go with you to what? <laughs> like, kill him? Help him? I mean, is he even going to be nice to you? I don't know. The artifact that's made Lorenzo so dangerous. I'm sure his psychosis would be cured if it could be removed. But so far, all my attempts have failed. It's fused too tightly with his nervous system. Yeah. Um, I know you're going that way, but I, our house is right up here. So since we have to prepare for this battle, we might as well go I'm ahead. Confused. This didn't fail up here. <sighs> there she goes again. I hope we can get inside before she says it again. Um, so we'll just go ahead and come inside, see if there's anything we can stock up on, and then next episode we'll go ahead and see if we can get old Daddy Dearest out of uh, out of trouble there. But anyways, so that will be the end of this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and of course, as always, if you like the video, please go ahead and hit that like button and. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay in the loop for all of my future content. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.